And now, Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. Good morning, everyone. Temperatures to start off the day out there to finish the work week are primarily in the 30s across the Snake River Plain. It's 30 degrees right now in Pocatello, 32 degrees in Idaho Falls. And across the Central Mountains, we're seeing temperatures slightly cooler. It's 6 degrees right now in Stanley and 23 degrees right now in Haley. Now, on the Storm Tracker satellite and radar, we're seeing any of the snow showers that we saw overnight moving out of our area. But just out to our west, we have that next storm system that's really going to move into our area pretty much during the later day, later day today into tomorrow. That's going to bring significant snow across the Central Mountains and also for the Upper Snake Highlands as we move into the weekend. And there are some watches and warnings in effect ahead of that storm system. There is a winter storm warning in effect from 6 o'clock today until 3 o'clock on Saturday. And that's for parts of Stanley across the Central Mountains. Anywhere from 9 to upwards of about 22 inches of snow is likely with that next storm system for the higher elevations. And there is a winter weather advisory in effect from 6 o'clock today until 6 a.m. on Sunday, and that's for parts, also parts of the Central Mountains up by Salmon, even into the Upper Snake Highlands up by Island Park, and anywhere from 1 to about 13 inches of snow is likely ahead of that next storm system, which means traveling will be hazardous if you're making your way around Idaho this weekend. As far as precipita precipitation goes today, around 9 o'clock across the Snake River Plain, we're seeing some clouds around there, pretty much right along the Idaho-Wyoming border as well. But as far as precipitation goes to start the day, we really won't see much of it. In fact, we probably won't see any across the Snake River Plain today. We'll have partly cloudy skies dominating the area. Around lunchtime today, we are pretty clear. We should be able to see some sunshine across the Central Mountains. There is a chance for some isolated snow showers, and it looks like that could also mix in with rain as we move throughout the day today by about 6 o'clock tonight. Right around that evening commute home, those roads could be rather slick across the Central Mountains. We're seeing rather clear skies by about 6 o'clock across the Snake River Plain today. And then as we move into the evening hours, that's when we could see some rain and snow building in to the Snake River Plain, and that will be impacting our area for tomorrow. For today, though, across the Snake River Plain, expect partly cloudy skies with temperatures generally in the 40s, so not too bad out there to finish the work week. It'll be 48 degrees today in Pocatello, 45 in Idaho Falls, 42 in Rexburg across the Central Mountains. There is a chance for some snow showers and maybe even mixing in with rain throughout the rest of the day today, and the same is true for the highlands and western Wyoming areas. For tonight, the temperatures will generally be in the 30s across the Snake River Plain. We'll have a low temperature of 36 in Pocatello, 34 in Blackfoot, 32 degrees in Idaho Falls, and there is a threat for some snow showers across all of Idaho and western Wyoming for this evening. Now let's have a look at that seven-day forecast. For the Pocatello area, expect a high of 48 today, 41 degrees tomorrow. It'll be 39 on Sunday, and then for tomorrow, we could see some rain and snow showers, and it will also be rather windy out there. For the Idaho Falls area, you're seven-day forecast. Expect a high of 45 today, 36 degrees on Saturday with a threat for some rain and snow showers, and it will also be rather windy out there. The snow showers will continue into Sunday morning, but we could see some peaks of sunshine. On Monday, we'll have mostly cloudy skies to start the work week, and for the Teton area, expect some snow showers today, some snow to continue into tomorrow, and even last until the weekend. And then on Tuesday, for the first day of spring, we're seeing temperatures in the 30s for the Teton area, and across Across the Central Mountains will have a high temperature of 45 today with a threat for some snow later on in the day and then some snow for the weekend.